13 American troops were among the nearly 200 people killed in an attack at the Kabul airport in Afghanistan on Thursday. A detonation set off by an ISIS-K suicide bomber near the airport's Abbey Gate amid evacuation efforts killed at least 170 Afghans, including several children, as well as two Brits and a child of a British citizen, according to Afghan and British officials. President Joe Biden called the U. S. service members killed in the attack heroes who have been engaged in a dangerous, selfless mission to save the lives of others. Those killed included 11 Marines, as well as an Army soldier and a Navy medic, U. S. officials said. Those warriors who died gave their lives to save thousands of men, women and children, Americans and Afghans alike, Admiral Mike Gilday, the Chief of Naval Operations, said in a statement. Their courage and selflessness represent the highest ideals of America. We pay solemn tribute to their sacrifice. The names of the service members are being released 24 hours after next of kin notifications, though some of those killed have been identified by family and officials. Here's what we know about them so far. Navy Medic Max Soviak Navy Fleet Marine Force Hospital Corpsman Max Soviak, of Ohio, was very proud to serve his country, his mother said in a statement to ABC News. He was very passionate about helping his fellow Americans and trying to get them home safely, Rachel Soviak said. There are no words to describe the pain our family is feeling. There will forever be a hole in our hearts. The family is praying for the troops to arrive home safely, she said. Max Soviak was a 2017 graduate of Edison High School in Milan, Ohio. School leaders remembered him as full of life in everything he did. Max was a good student who was active in sports and other activities throughout his school career, Superintendent Thomas Roth said in a statement. He was well respected and liked by everyone who knew him. Marine David Espinoza Marine David Espinoza was a native of Laredo, Texas, according to Rep. Henry Queller of Texas, who released a statement confirming his death Mr. Espinoza embodied the values of America, Brit, dedication, service, and valor, Queller said. When he joined the military after high school, he did so with the intention of protecting our nation and demonstrating his selfless acts of service. Espinoza graduated from Lyndon B. Johnson High School in Laredo in 2019 and is survived by his brother, mother and stepfather, Queller's office said. Marine Riley McCollum Marine Riley McCollum, of Bondurant, Wyoming, was among the service members killed, Wyoming Governor. Mark Gordon confirmed. I'm devastated to learn Wyoming lost one of our own in yesterday's terrorist attack in Kabul, Gordon said on Twitter. Our thoughts and prayers are with the family and friends of Riley McCollum of Bondurant. Marine Kareem Nikui Marine Kareem Nikui was among those killed in the attack, ABC News has confirmed. All data is taken from the source, http colon slash slash abnews.go.com. Article link, https colon slash slash abnews.go.com slash us slash us service members killed Kabul airport attack slash story. It equals 79685589. Hashtag said hashtag news talk hashtag news today hashtag king world news hashtag news today and hashtag news today world hash.